Namaste. Today we will do a flip through of this book, Medieval Fashions. I had actually ordered this along with my Indian Fashions book. Uh, this one came a bit later, so I have received it separately. This is a Dover Publications book, and it's by Tom Thierney, and it is giving us the medieval uh, garments. And if I'm not wrong, they are in chronological order but i'm not sure of that this right <laughs> you can pause and read it it's too long for me to read right now uh, while recording this so i'll probably do it separately what i had realized when i did the uh, flip through for the india fashions please have a look at that video if you have not already done so i will put it in the link uh, I will put the link in the either in the description box or on the screen right now. You might be seeing it. What I found interesting about this book is that they do tell you from which era this is, uh, the date range when this was the fashions maybe. So that is very interesting. They have also given a very elaborate introduction and, you know, the trends and everything like what men wore, what females wore during those times and all that. Uh, copyright is 1998, which is very surprising for me because I did not know that in 1998 there were adult coloring books. So maybe these books were not being published as adult coloring books, but maybe they were more for educational use um, maybe for fashion students or something like that if you know the history behind these do let me know i would be very happy to learn a bit more about the idea behind the publications of these books okay so now on each of the pages they have as i mentioned they will give you the era when this was worn, worn and they will give a brief um, explanation on what you see on the page so i will of course not bother to read every one of them but i will do a flip through so you can check if you would be interested in coloring these um, and if so then as usual i will request you to use the link which i'll be putting in the description box below and while we are at it if you have not yet subscribed please do so i will highly appreciate you joining me on my journey these are some very beautiful garments i wonder what color i would put really nice oh headgears i should not say headgear i should say headdress <laughs> This is a beautiful garment. Again, some more headdresses. Oh, this one is called headgear. <laughs> okay, now I need to read it to understand the difference between a headdress and a headgear. And if you know the difference, please do mention it in the comments. It will save me some trouble of reading. The paper quality is good, really good. I just wish they were not back to back because markers would have been superb on these ones. Um, but with pencils, it will take a very long time to color so big images. Uh, I don't know. Is, is Are there any uh, markers other than alcohol markers which will not bleed through? Let me know. Oh, they have also a section for shoes that is very interesting and this is one of the color pages very nice i did like this book again uh, it's not that i did not like the indian fashion one 
it's just that i thought historically it was inaccurate because i wouldn't even say inaccurate i would say it was incomplete because it was like it concentrated only on one part of india like only north of india which is not total india india is uh, like so different from north to south and from east to west also so yeah but then maybe if we have so much variety they don't know what to capture so they just took what was the most popular ones probably these ones i have seen some of these images in you know the dresses which they have used here in movies and in illustrations of story books and uh, you know stuff like that so i can relate to most of them uh, i'm not really confident about coloring them but yes i will surely do a little research on internet while coloring them just to see if i can get them as accurately as possible because i know some colors were not available during certain eras like uh people didn't know how to create a dye of a specific color um, during certain times like early history especially so i will surely do a little bit of google search before i actually put in a color and i don't want to like put a color which never existed in that era uh not that it matters but just for the sake of you know learning something new i would do that so thanks for watching this video and have a nice day bye